Well, welcome to today's lesson, and we're learning how to divide by tens, hundreds, and thousands. So earlier in the unit, we learned how to multiply by tens, hundreds, and thousands. If I had the number 14 times 100, it would be the number 14. And because I'm multiplying it by 100, I have two zeros here. So that means I would pick up the number 14 and move it over two places. One, two, and fill in the rest with zeros to hold it up. So my answer would be 1,400. The other way to think about it is if we have the number 14, I could count the zeros and add two zeros at the end. So what happens with division? Well, division is kind of like the opposite of multiplication. So when we do division, instead of moving the numbers to the left and making them bigger, we're going to be moving the numbers to the right and making them smaller. So let's try that with a 1,400 divided by 100. So 1,400 divided by 100. I have to first write down my 1,400. 1, 4, 0, 0. Divided by 100. So I have two zeros. That means I'm going to pick up my number and move it over two places. One, two. So my answer is 14. 14, I'm sorry, 1,400 divided by 100 is 14. It's moving the, the number around the decimal two places. The other way to think about it is you could also try to count the zeros. There are two zeros in 100, cross out the two zeros here, and it's 14. That'll work for now. This way down here, if you understand this, it'll work all the time. Make, <clears throat> excuse me, let me make my spaces back here. Tens, ones, decimal place, tenths, hundredths. So our new problem that we're going to try. If you don't have a notebook, you need to get one out, pause it, and come back. Here we go. Next problem. 32,000 divided by 1,000. So here we go. 32,000. Let me write it down first. 32, 0, 0. Zero divided by a thousand. So there are three zeros here. So I'm going to take my number and move it three places around the decimal. One, two, three. So my answer is 32. The other way to think about it is there are three zeros for the thousand, so I can cross out three zeros here. Hope you wrote that one down. We're gonna do one more together for division. Twelve thousand divided by sixty. This one's tricky because if you notice, it's not a one here, it's a six. So in order for me to do a problem like that, I have to first do the numbers that aren't zeros and do that division first. So 12 and six, what is 12 divided by six? Well, I know that that's two. So when that happens, this becomes a 2,000 and this becomes 10 because 6 goes into 12 twice 6 goes into 6 once now I have to figure this part out 2000 so I have the number 2000 and I'm dividing by 10 that means it's 1 0 I need to move my number around the decimal, so I move it one spot because 10 has one zero. 
So my new answer becomes, right. Those numbers are stuck together, aren't they? Mr. Fritz K, make my zero a little better. There we go. So my new answer is 200. So if we can remember that division to divide is the opposite of multiplication, we can do this. Because when we multiply by tens, hundreds, and thousands, we move the numbers to the left and make them bigger. When we divide by tens, hundreds, and thousands, we move them to the right and they get smaller. Good luck with your homework, and I'll see you tomorrow in class.